This is a level 8 tip question. There were 1,386 termites in a population. After 10 days, there were 2,636 termites. What was the growth rate per 15 hours of this population of termites? Our growth function, c sub n is equal to c sub 0 times 1 plus our growth rate, i, to the power of bt, where b is 1 over the period and t is the time. We have two time units. We have days and we have hours. So we have to convert either both to days or both to hours. B is 1 over the P, and the P is 15 hours. It's 1 out of 15. I'm just going to deal with this in hours because it's going to be a lot easier. 10 days, 24 hours a day, 24 times 10, 240. Our time is 240 hours, and our period is in hours, 15 hours. So we're going to multiply these two together. So 1 15th times 240, which gives us 240 over 15, or 240 divided by 15, which is 16. Let's fill in everything we know. The C sub N is 2,636 termites, and the C sub O, the initial number of termites, is 1,386. We have one plus our growth rate. We don't know the growth rate to the power of 16, BT. I want to get this I alone. I have to get rid of the one, I have to get rid of the 1,386, and I have to get rid of the 16. We're going to do this in the opposite order of order of the order of operations. We're going to deal with the addition subtraction, then the multiplication division, then the exponents, and then the brackets. But the brackets are going to come last. I've got to get rid of this 1,386, and it's multiplying the brackets. So I'm going to divide both sides by 1,386. When I divide the right-hand side, it cancels, and then we're left with it just dividing the left-hand side. We have 2,336 divided by 1,386. 10 dandy calculator time. 2,636 divided by 1,386 is equal to 1.90187. I'm going to keep that number in the calculator so we don't want to round this until we get to the end. 1.90188. It goes on forever, but keep the number in the calculator. I want to get rid of this 16. This whole right-hand side is being raised to the power of 16. To get rid of this 16, I'm going to raise the right-hand side to the 1 16th. So the 1 16th will multiply the 16 and it will cancel. It will become a 1. And everything is raised to the power of 1. I'm going to raise both sides to the 1 16th. When I raise this side to the 1 16th, it's going to cancel. And then I'm going to be left with the left hand side raised to the power of 1 16th is equal to 1 plus i. Let's raise this to the power of 1 16th. I have this number that's in the calculator and I'm going to raise it to the power of, and I have to do this in brackets, 1 16th which is 1 divided by 16. Close the bracket so it does that first and then equals. We get 1.0409955815 it goes on forever. That is equal to 1 plus our growth rate. To get the growth rate alone, I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. That is going to give us 0.0409956 which is our growth rate. As a decimal, so to convert it to a percent, I'm going to multiply it by 100, 4.09956. If I round that to the nearest tenth of a percent, that's going to be 4.1%. Our growth rate is 4.1%. What was the growth rate per 15 hours of this population of termites? The growth rate of the termites was 4.1%, and that's our final answer. The other thing I want to point out with the BT, here we dealt with everything in hours, but we could have dealt with everything in days. 15 hours would be 15 24ths of a day. Each hour is 1 24th of a day. We can say the period was 15 24ths of a day. If we reduce that, divide the top and bottom by 3, and that gives us 5 eighths of a day. The B is going to be the reciprocal of the P, right? So 1 over P. So the reciprocal of 5 eighths is 8 fifths, so the B is 8 fifths. The time is going to be 10, and we're talking about days, right? This is 8 fifths of a day, and so our time is 10 days. Our B times T is 8 fifths times 10. The 5 cancels with the 10, gives us 2 times 8 is 16. So BT is 16. It's still 16, right? So no matter which way we do it, whether we're using days or hours or whatever unit of time you use, you just have to convert to the same unit of time. 4.1%, that's our answer. Let's read it back into the program and see what happens. 4.1% and end. Yay! And that's it for level 8. Have a good day.